Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. My name is Keith. Trying something new tonight. Obviously, you can see in the um, in the video the uh, condenser microphone right there. Um, just trying to see if it gets better audio than <clears throat> the normal Osmo Pocket microphones that I've been using. But it, what I want to talk about tonight is the fact that you can actually like a Democrat. It's proven. I have friends who are Democrats. It's a miracle. You know, we're human beings. I don't agree. They don't agree. But you know what? We're still friends. And um, this didn't get a lot of news play over the weekend. I actually saw it on Facebook uh, yesterday. And if you guys watched any of the... Um, oh, one second. Um, if you got... <clears throat> if you got, Sorry about that. If you guys watched any of the, the news over the weekend, you might not have seen this. But... Um, Ellen DeGeneres uh, made headline news because she went to a Dallas Cowboys game, was invited there by Jerry Jones. Her and her wife, Portia, were invited to the game. And she said that she knew she was going to be in a booth with a lot of people with differing viewpoints. You know, that's just life. That's the way of the world. Um, she kind of made a joke saying that, you know, the, the, the differing viewpoints were that they were all Cowboys fans and she was a Green Bay Packers fan, so... That was kind of funny. But um, there was a picture of her and George Bush sitting next to each other, just laughing, you know, having a good time at the game, just being friends, laughing. And she got so much crap over that from the left leaning liberals in Hollyweird saying, you know, how can a gay liberal, um, you know, sit there and laugh next to a conservative Republican um, ex president? Really? You can't be friends with somebody just because your viewpoints differ. That's how crazy this world has gotten and how divisive it's gotten. You, you, you can't be friends with somebody just because your viewpoints differ. That's bullshit, man. It, it happens all the time. I have, like I just said, I have friends who are Democrats and you know, I, I'm glad that it happened to Ellen and I'm glad that um, <clears throat> there was that picture taken with her and president Bush because then she could just retort back what she did. She made a video of it and she said, you know, look, I have friends from all different backgrounds. Um, we're not going to agree on everything, but, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm friends with George Bush. Oh, well, big deal. It doesn't matter. Um, and that's the way it should be. And then <clears throat> again on Sunday, I don't know if you saw this, but Kanye West was set up and he was, he was um, kind of doing a sermon. I, I did not know that he was a, a preacher or a pastor of some sort, but he was, doing a sermon and basically said the same thing you know we're all fr we can all get together and get get along it doesn't matter that our political be beliefs are different so um i hope you guys realize that and i'm sure most of you do that um the democrats aren't our enemies <clears throat> they have differing viewpoints um that we strongly disagree with but it doesn't mean that you can't just go out and have a beer with them after you, you know your discussion. But a lot of times that doesn't happen. It turns into like a shouting match. And it's always, for me anyways, it always seems like I'm talking to a Democrat and they're not agreeing with what I'm saying. Uh, then they get yelly. They get really loud and they try to shut me down with a very loud voice. Because they think that if they're being loud, then my, my voice isn't going to be heard. Which is complete shit anyways, so... You just need to be able to talk to anybody as a human being. Treat everybody with kindness. Just be kind. Be human. Um, we don't have a lot of that in this world right now, especially in our country where it's so divisive based on your political belief. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've been told I can't talk to you anymore because you're a Republican. And I just found that out. Really? Does it like that? Is it like a skin disease or something? Is it contagious? I'm sorry. I don't mean to offend you. I mean, think about it. If, if we all had the same opinions and all you just kind of like droned along, how boring of a world would that be? So just thought I'd, I, I thought I'd espouse that to you guys. And I go out and, ch and uh, find um, Ellen's video. It's, it's worth watching. It's really good. And it's, you know, it's really funny. So check that out. Do me a favor. If you have not already, subscribe, 
if you have subscribed, please check and make sure that you're still subscribed because I'm telling you right now, man, it's weird. It goes up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and it's not normal for it to go fluctuate like every day goes up one down up one down it's really odd just make sure you're still subscribed make sure you're hitting that bell icon to get notified of when i am putting out more content and always remember to stay on the right side hope you guys have a great night and i'll talk to you soon go dodgers